six hour train ride and now we're on our way to the hotel and it's really pretty here already it's 6 30 a.m so there's not really a lot of people outside right now we found our way to the hotel we're right by the dock okay so this location is so pretty has a Michelin restaurant and it's the only one in Bergen and we're ready to go in so we wanted to look if this was open and we saw this little sign that this was Amalia Skidam's childhood home and just by the very little time that we've been here they have so many galleries and exhibitions and museums and They have this thing that almost looks like the famous um, zigzag thing in San Francisco. It's like the roads. Yeah. So we're just walking around because nothing is open and we can't check in until 3 p.m. Uh, we're looking for a cafe. We're looking for some cafes if they're open, but they're not. The breakfast at the hotel opens at 8 a.m. in like an hour, so we might go back there and eat. <laughs> the lady was super nice and checked us in early, but she didn't say what floor, so we can't find her room. <laughs> okay, so we went into the wrong elevator. There was one more and now we found floor five, so I'm excited. I think we have a nice view. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, so we found a room. Let's it's so nice okay so apparently our room got upgraded so this one is bigger than what we were supposed to have and she was so nice to let us check in at 8 8 a.m we were supposed to check in at 3 p.m that's like eight. that's seven hours before that's crazy we don't have the best view, but I mean, it's something. It's okay. I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna check out the bathroom. Got a little mirror shebang going on. Ooh, okay. That's a pretty nice bathroom. It's a very simple, but like kind of elegant hotel. And it is a very historic hotel because it was Bergen's stock exchange before. So that's why I wanted to stay here because it's kind of like an experience itself. Because we could have stayed at one of the Scandic hotels because they have like a bunch and they have very good breakfast. But I wanted to stay here because it's kind of like different and you can only experience it in Bergen. You happy? Yeah. This makes us look fat and small. Boom. So we got ready. I put on some nails and I love them. And this is the outfit. Now we're going to the tourist information to get our Bergen cards. If you're gonna go to a lot of museums and stuff, you're gonna save a lot of money with the Bergen card. So we have a 72 hour card and it only cost us 800 something for the both of us. <laughs> tickets and we're ready to explore now we're at this very famous little hot dog stand and i don't know what we're gonna try they have reindeer hot dog so sean got one of this and i got a reindeer mm. right <laughs> mm. Side? Mm. okay so this is the reindeer hot dog she put on It's so fat. I would give it like a 9 out of 10. It's really good. I recommend it. The other mall called Exhibition wasn't that good, but this one called Galeria is really good. So this is the one that I would recommend. So I think this mall has a lot of great food options. They have Monsdam, which has become one of my new favorite stores. It's 
kind of expensive, but I love it. Everything's handmade in India and it's really pretty. So I really want one of these, like with the little flowers. So I've decided that I'm getting this one. How have they moved this? Like the artist must have made it at this place. <laughs> so. Jag har faktiskt att det här är en egen grej. Och så har de bara stött extra grejer på kanten. We're at the Code Museums. Uh, we were supposed to go back to our hotel area, but we were around here, so we just decided to go to the museums. Oh, Rasmus Mayer outside of the building because he was like a huge collector so all of these paintings were his and when he died he wanted everyone to see it in the, like a museum or a place for the public so the son like sold or like gave everything to but again so that's pretty cool it's the man that had all of these paintings crazy apparently that's the last one but it was under construction so we're done so uh, that's Let's call it a day. Good night. No. So I totally forgot my GoPro at the hotel. So a little camera switch. Now we're at the Horizon ice cream place where they make their own ice cream. And it's very nice weather, so we're excited to try. Fitchek, from Dutch, out of Chinatown. Yeah, this looks good. UNC Journal on Lowe's. Murakami tote bag. Stunner. Yeah. Quick uh -huh. check. What's your cap? NYC cap. <laughs> Pearl. Pearls. Siberia. Deals, the Corona edition. Corona edition. Yeah. Philippa K bag. Minimal jeans. Pure monies. Okay, now <laughs> ice cream time. <laughs> this looks so good. Wow, that's really good. I got strawberry. Sean got tropical salt, salted caramel and Baileys. And Baileys, really good. And now we're on our way to. I think, like, I read about it that it's Bergen's oldest and smallest cafe. So we'll see. I think it's really cute. Now we got our cookies. Sean got a cute little heart. Bergen is actually one of the most like known cities in Norway to be super rainy so I'm glad that we at least got one day with a lot of sun I hope it's gonna be sun tomorrow as well This vlog turns out really well because I was trying to look for really good vlogs from Bergen and I didn't really see that many vlogs and I have researched a lot so I know a lot of places that I want to go to I feel like I've already done like what most people do when they come here and we're not even halfway so I really hope you guys enjoy this vlog I've put in a lot of effort into like researching a lot of places so I also can have a good vlog for people who want to visit here. So there's the pier. So now we're waiting in line. 
to get some donuts. They ran out of donuts. So we're gonna go back tomorrow with that. And Sean really wanted some donuts right now. But that's okay, we're going back tomorrow. Oh.